I literally stopped guts. drinking ciders yesterday because I had the squirts, and then the hard solos <laughs> turned up. Stop saying that. <laughs> what the squirts? <laughs> 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 um, I didn't want to be on the phone with you this week. Every time I was on the phone with you, you're like, get out of the way, yeah. you dumb dog. Yeah. You're yelling at caravans. What was your first embarrassing moment? So the first one was I was standing on a chair in my grade six classroom and yep. the chair collapsed underneath me. Is that because you're chubby? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to take a second to talk about our new sponsor and that's Luna Finance. Our new sponsor is an asset and finance company that's making a real difference across Australia. Imagine you're a parent finally looking to get a new car or maybe you're on the cusp of launching a new business. Luna Finance can make that happen for you. From cars suited to the everyday family or if you're a bloke like myself and you need a big truck to drive, <laughs> Luna Finance has got you covered. What truly sets Luna Finance apart is how easy they make the process. No need to adjust your schedule. Their 24-7 online applications at lunafinance.com.au is a game changer. And if you're not into filling out online forms, any of that kind of stuff, no worries. Just submit your details online and their dedicated team will get in touch with you. They're all about making finance accessible no matter who you are or what you're looking for. Turn your aspirations into achievements with just a click. Apply at lunafinance.com.au today and discover the Lunar Finance difference. Season and C's apply subject to credit specifications. Head over to Instagram and find them at lunarfinance.com.au and tell them Crossy sent you. And thanks to Lunar for sponsoring this episode. All right, episode three of the Cross Family Podcast. What what? Good evening, <laughs> Mr. Cross. Yeah, my name's Jacques Cross. In case you don't know, you might know me from Cross Family Trucking. Otherwise, this is my beautiful wife, my co-host, Claire Cross. Hello, I'm Claire Cross. And we're the Cross Family Podcast. We are. Um, episode three, babe. Episode three, pretty exciting. Episodes two just has dropped. Yeah. And pretty good response so far, which yeah. is very encouraging. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see everyone um, responding to to the podcast so well. Yeah, it's, in, it's especially like for me, because it's like I built this channel off of a tracking, off tracking content. Yeah. But I don't think we're going <laughs> in that direction anymore. No. Like... Um, well, I know my trucking fans yeah. want me to, but yeah. I'll, I'll just work a job that I'm not allowed to do trucking content anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, don't fully like cut yourself off from that because everyone will leave the channel. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm not saying that I'm not going to do trucking content anymore, but all I'm saying is... Is right now, it's this. Right now, we're podcasters. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm. How was your week, man? Week's been good. Mm. Yep. Um, yeah. Nothing. Not much going on, to be honest. Just the same shit, different day for me sometimes. Yeah, it just seems like it's the same stuff over and over again. And yeah. it's sometimes it's the repetitiveness is just a bit tiring. But Well, you remember okay. what it's like to go to work. Like, it's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, that's worse. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> at least you get to be sick of your job at home. Yeah. With a fridge. Yeah. Full of beers and... Oh, beers. I'm and not drinking on the job. Oh, aren't you? No. I would be. I would be... Like, I'm the type of dad, and we were talking about this, right? Yeah. I'm the type of dad that, like, um, I think the last time I was home, I cracked my first beer at 6.30 in the morning changing yeah. nappies. <laughs> I'm not a piss I'm Golly really not. Gosh. I always talk about grog and stuff, but I'm not a piss I don't get blind. No, you but don't. I just enjoy beers. That's why you said to me, wouldn't you just hate it? What did you say? You I'm don't even care that I... Yeah, like, a lot of guys' wives would hate that they just crack a beer with breakfast in the morning. But you just don't care. I don't care because yeah. you spread them all out and you don't get drunk. Yeah, yeah I don't it's get not, drunk. No, it's, it's not like, a problem. It's like a holiday when I come home. That's yeah. what. That's how it feels. Yeah. If it was a problem, we'd be chatting about it. That's but right. It's yeah, not yeah. a problem. You don't make it a problem. So it's right. not my problem. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm yeah. not going to pull you up on it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. How's your week been? You've cut, um, cut your ciggies out this week. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I decided to quit randomly. Quit I've smoking. been wanting to for a while. Yeah. But we were just driving to get my cigarettes last weekend. Yeah. And then could no, we could afford it, but we just the conversation was yeah. kinda just like Oh, I don't know how we got to the song, but I just asked you, should I just quit? And you're like, Yeah, yeah I just quit. And Yep. It was the best decision. Great. Because I haven't I haven't driven a truck without a cigarette in my hand ever. Wow. So <laughs> one thing the first thing that I noticed was how weird trucks actually smell. Oh. 
Do when, they smell when they like don't grease smell like cigarettes. or something? They smell like diesel grease. Diesel, yeah. But you can't smell them when all you've all you've got in your hand is a cigarette going oh, down the road. Yucky. So I always thought I don't know why my brain just thought that trucks just smelt like cigarettes. Well, oh, they don't. No. They smell like beds and chairs and buttons and plastic. Buttons. <laughs> <laughs> like buttons. Oh, buttons. Yeah, yeah like oh, on the like, dash. Yeah. Okay. Like you can smell. I can smell all that shit. Oh. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I was going to say. That I can smell. Obviously, the, not just because the the um. Truck smells like smoke, but also you're probably getting your sense of smell back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, because it's not just being dumbed down by the smell of cigarettes. Yeah. But I can smell the dust that's in the truck now. Ew. Well, it's, it's a truck, babe. Yeah, true. It's like you're, you're in good dusty luck situations. To, good luck trying to keep a truck dust free. Yeah. Some people do it, but. You've actually um, been snoring less as well. Yeah, I know. And that's yeah. one thing I didn't realize, right? That. I didn't realise till I got home and Claire told me like on the very first night she said, you didn't snore once last night. No. And then I've you been... You snored last night though because I think you had a couple of... Beers. Um, beers, yeah. Yeah. But on the road, like I kept telling you, I'm having the best sleeps I've ever had yeah. in a truck. Yeah. Like I'm sleeping, like if I've got a 10 hour layover between like getting to Sydney and then leaving Sydney, right? Yeah. I'm sleeping for eight of those hours now. Whereas I would only get five and a half, six max. Huge difference. And do you think that that's because you were waking yourself up snoring? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Maybe it was a little bit of sleep apnea as well. Maybe. Well, it was just all induced by tobacco. Yeah. By smoking. But, ugh. but there was like a negative side of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, was, rage. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was withdrawing all week. Yeah. I was like in that type of mood, like I wanted someone to say the wrong thing to me all week yeah. so I could punch on with somebody. Honestly, um, yeah. I didn't want to be on the phone with you this week. Yeah, I know. I struggled because every time I was on the phone with you, you're like, get out of the way, yeah. you dumb dog. Yeah. You're yelling at caravans. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> it's <Literally>. pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I was raging this week on the road. Not like... I didn't rage at anybody in and case anyone from my, any of my bosses are watching. I didn't like do anything dumb. No. But I was just yelling my head off at people it, yeah. without actually yelling at them. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry. It wasn't out the window. It was on the phone. I copped it. Yeah. <laughs> no one else did. Yeah. I just called Claire to yell at her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was. I, and I didn't realise it was happening until I was on my way home. I was like, oh, I've, I've wanted to like, I've just been angry all week. Yeah. Fuming for no reason. Yeah. Apart from the fact that I'm withdrawing from... Look, I basically used to smoke a pack a day. Yeah, wow. Yeah, almost. Like, almost a pack a day. Yeah. And then... So, you take, like, three packs to work. Three or four packs. Three and or then four. And basically smoke just, them in four would, or five days. So there was one week there. And... But towards the end of actually quitting... Yeah. Like, like my, my smoking... Because that thought just kept coming back and I really wanted to quit smoking. I was smoking more. It was like my ego. Oh, okay, I called it yep. ego smoking. Yeah. My ego didn't want to like let me stop smoking because oh. it was like, I, I told you ages ago, right? I said, I probably wouldn't drive trucks if I couldn't smoke cigarettes. You did say that. Yeah. And like, I had to get used to... Especially driving to Perth. You were like, I'm definitely not giving up now. Yeah, because I was going to I was gonna quit then. You said that you were going to quit when yeah. Olive was born. You That's promised right. me that. And then Olive then came and, and you're like, like well, I'll worry about oh, that. I'm going away for two weeks. You I'm did stop smoking cities. the whole time you were home on paternity leave. That's right, yeah. And then you were like, well, I've got a new job. I'm driving all the way to Perth. I'm not doing that without smokes. Yeah, but the biggest <laughs> thing... Um, <laughs> you started up again. Yeah, that's right. But the biggest thing was one of the... like major realizations i had is being i have to get okay with being bored while i'm driving now yeah because when you're when you're smoking you get bored you just puff on a cigarette yeah and then it just gives you that little dopamine hit yeah but now i have to i've realized very quickly like um in the last week that i've like i yeah yeah. It's the weirdest thing. You've got to be okay with being bored. Yeah. As long as you don't feel the need to then like pick up a chippy and like s change your habit and then like yeah, you, I know, you right. didn't like I actually hungry had to fight that too, or Because yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm aware that pe that happens to people. I, yeah, it happened to my cousin. Yeah, I didn't really like, I probably ate a bit more food this week. Yeah. But I didn't pull over and buy pies and shit. Look. Well, that's good because yeah. I sent you with a whole fridge full of food. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's good to hear you didn't buy a pie. <laughs> yeah, no. Better than that, my week was awesome. Yeah. Same old. Doing that's what I cool. Like. So well, um, 
What mm. happened after the first episode? Well, I made a few reels yeah. for the TikTok and the Instagram. Yeah. One of them was about how we were talking about um, my experience with going to Weight Watchers as a child. Yeah. And it's really, um, I feel like I found some of my people, even though they were already my people on my yeah. Instagram, they were my yeah. friends. And they had also said that they were put in Weight Watchers mm. at preteen, like really young. How many people? Two, yeah. two people commented on yeah. on it so far, but I got a number of likes and stuff. But I just wanted to read one of them out. Yeah, and um, this is just like talking about how bonkers it is that us as you know thirty five, thirty six year olds had to deal with the you know yeah. repercussions of the nineties heroin mm. chic stuff and all of our parents trying mm. to be skinny, yeah, looking like Kate Moss, and we're over here like. Big boned. My dad, six foot six. Like I'm yeah. ever going to be a ballerina, guys? Yeah, and you guys aren't. You guys aren't. We're not like little built people. To be skinny. Yeah, you're Come not on. little at all. Yeah. So this lady said, "Yep." And then I turned into starving myself as became as I became so obsessed with counting calories. Lasted until my mid twenties. I'm 36 now. I have a 10 year old daughter, and there's no way I'd ever do that to her. Yeah. Isn't it hard? Like, yeah, that's crazy. Eh? Yeah. But the biggest thing that <clears throat> um. Amy, our sister-in-law, said yeah. to me a while ago mm-hmm. when we were talking about this stuff, like, um, I got caught ugly when I was a kid, not yeah. by, like, my mum and my sister. And that's fine. Mm. Like, I don't hold anything against you guys for doing it. But now I think I'm ugly. But now yeah. I, I literally, I do the opposite to our kids on yeah. purpose. And Amy said, yeah, we're, we're, like, we're the generation that's parenting ourselves as well. Yeah. And that's exactly what yeah. that lady's talking about, it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, parenting yeah. ourselves. Yeah, parenting ourselves, parenting mm. our kids, and sometimes parenting our parents. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. just being more like self aware of like the things that we're saying to our kids. Yeah. And what totally. we're doing to them. Yeah. Because it really can affect them. Yeah. Yeah. I I love how you talk to our children. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, I didn't even realise I was doing it until Amy said that. Literally Amy said yeah. that. I was like, Oh yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. But yeah, but the same is for you. Yeah. Is like you, you, you would never do that to our. No, kids. look. Uh, I know Hugh is a big kid. Yeah. But like, he's not going to Weight Watchers. No, you he's I mean? not. That's and what I mean. like, to be honest with you, he doesn't have genetics on his side to have washboard abs for the rest of his life. Exactly. So I'm not going to be trying to make sure that he has that. And say with Olive, like, yeah, she's probably not going to be a five foot two and skinny tiny little thing yeah that's right but you know she is still the most stunning baby i've seen in my life yeah she's beautiful we might just insert a photo of her here <laughs> the just cutest a, photo just ever flex. yeah just a flex <laughs> she's very cute she's beautiful yeah so you know well <clears throat> it's just genetics you know one mm. of my other friends commented and said that she's a half summer and half um big bone Irish and she was put on Weight Watchers as a child. Wow. She's like, why were they thinking I was ever going to be this tiny little fairy? Yeah. That was just the <laughs> beauty. I think I think a lot of it was the beauty standard back then. Yeah, too. absolutely. The beauty standard yeah, has changed. Yeah, that's what I mean. The yeah. heroin chic. Everyone wanted to yep. be like Kate Moss. Yep. And be skinny. And it's like, yep. you have hips, mum. Like, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But like now the beauty standard has curves. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Like not well, for everybody, but for, like it's it's you know even just like it's beautiful to just accept yourself that's as right. you are. Yeah, yeah. That and that's most of it. Eh? Yeah. During the first podcast, I, at the very start, I said, um, "What did I say?" I bloody said, "If anyone, basically, I said, if anyone wants to sponsor us, wants to cash us up so I can get grog and alcohol. Oh, sorry, <laughs> grog and takeaways for free. Be my guest." Well, we got contacted. We actually did. By uh, the by same legit, day. Yeah, by a legitimate company who they have been watching my vlogs for a while, they reckon. Yeah. Um, but they basically said, and we'll get into, I think next episode we'll do their ad read because we haven't, like, we literally just got sent the script. Um, or we'll insert the ad read. At the end, at yeah, the end, sorry. Yeah. But. They, they contacted us and said, look, we'd be looking for 10 episodes of ad reads. 
um, why don't we saw that you were drinking hard solos in the yeah. in your first episode? Why don't we send you ten packs of ten um, ten packs of what? How, what am I trying to say? Ten, ten packs cartons of, of ten. yeah, ten cartons of ten hard solos. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. For 10 episodes. So they're going to send us 100 hard solos. <laughs> so much alcohol. <laughs> for to do 10 aye ad aye reads aye. on um, 10 episodes. So, so guess so who's had 10 hard solos today? Not me. I've had He's a had week eight. where they... <laughs> He's <laughs> had eight. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, um, they turned up yesterday, yesterday afternoon, afternoon just yeah. as I was getting thirsty. <laughs> as, as the ciders were giving me the squirts. <laughs> Because <laughs> I drink cheap ciders <laughs> when we're like on a budget. But you're also allergic to apples. Yeah, I'm allergic to apples. So um, they're not going to do great. I literally stopped guts. drinking ciders yesterday because I had the squirts, and then the hard solos <laughs> turned up. Stop saying that. <laughs> what the squirts? <laughs> 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 Yeah, and That's then the so hard gross. solos turned up with an Indian bloke in an Uber, and um, <laughs> and saved the day. So yeah, we, we've we've got a sponsor. Yeah, we've got a sponsor of our first episode, babe. Did it? Check out. Check out. <laughs> you know, you've been doing this for probably a year. All you needed to do is and get you, your wife yeah, into put the you on a fucking <laughs> microphone and put you in front of the camera. You know, you need the beauty and the beast. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll let you slide on that one. Okay. I can rip you apart for saying that. I can roast you. <laughs> was, there's so many things that, that I could have just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, sorry. What are you saying? I'm I don't not, want to take the piss I'm not the beauty. Podcast, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. I have this dirty really? habit of like taking the piss out of my wife constantly. Yeah. And it sometimes it makes her cry. And then, <laughs> <laughs> then I feel bad. Um, Good. Don't do it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah we, we've got like literally... I think I've polished off a tan pack since yesterday, but yeah. we've got three more tan packs sitting in the cupboard, and then we'll, we're expecting another six. Honestly, if you guys don't want to send the next the, don't the six it. cartons, uh, we won't. I don't like. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. But we don't. We don't need another sixty hard solos. Yeah, but like we'll like They'll ration pull. them out for the rest of the year. Yeah, surely. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but um, but that's yeah. Anyway. We got a sponsor. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Thanks to Jesse and Holly yeah. at Luna Finance. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We'll um, insert the ad now. Yep. And we're back. <laughs> 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 do you know what I'm going to do? You know gonna do? <laughs> You're not going to do anything. I'm not going to put the, <laughs> <laughs> not gonna put the ad in there. I'm just going to make us look like idiots. Oh, yeah. Whatever. But... This is the thing, right? Is since I started this channel, um, I, I've been hit up by finance companies constantly. Yeah, there's probably twenty or thirty finance companies, but they're all like a um, couple of American ones. Yeah, a couple of ones that I couldn't actually verify if were real companies. Yeah, um, we've heaps had of heaps of people, you know, inquire to sponsor yeah. your videos, even like um, gaming, like yeah. websites and stuff like yeah. that. It just is, it hasn't been the right. Uh, fit for yeah. the channel And I'm not just going to accept money from people Just to say that I have sponsors Like, no. I really could not care whether or not We have people funding what we do No, exactly um, I think that the most important thing About creating um, a community Is that trust between yeah. you and, but everything, and your Everything has community. to be a reflection of us Yeah um, f Everything that we do on this platform Because yeah. If it doesn't reflect who we are, then it's like, then we're basically just mm. doing it for the clout. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, and I told you right at the beginning is the only way I'm going to build a brand is if it's based around our morals, mm. our standards. Like, it's us. Yep. Um, so, when when old mate from Lunar Finance, yeah, uh, we looked into them. They're based in Brisbane. They're yeah. a family-owned finance company. Mm -hmm. And straight away, I said, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they're just really good. Claire's yeah. been chatting with them. Yeah. I haven't talked to them yet. They're great people. Yeah, that's right. And we will insert the ad read here. Here. And we're back. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. I could do that You're a constantly. Tease. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk about our first times. Yeah. Yeah, we are. A bit controversial. The, 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 the title of this podcast is yes. there's a first time for everything. First time for everything, guys. Yeah. Um, so we'll start off light before we get into the heavy and the raunchy. Oh, <laughs> um, 
If you know us, please click away now. Yeah, yeah. What was your first embarrassing moment that you can remember, bud? Well, my first probably embarrassing moment, I think I've got two from primary school, Mm. like my earliest ones. Yep. One was I was standing, actually the second one I thought was me was actually my sister, but I'll still share it because it was pretty funny. So the first one was I was standing on a chair in my grade six classroom and the chair collapsed underneath me. Oh. I broke a chair. Is that because you're chubby? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the fat girl broke a chair. Yeah. Uh, What's grade six year? First 11 years old. Uh, yeah, 11 Ten. or 12. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah I would have been 12 because I was a year ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A year, a year behind. Behind, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Sarah was um, the embarrassing moment for my sister, Sarah. Poor girl. She was running through... Wait, are you doing your sister's embarrassing moment? Yeah, I Why? am. <laughs> I'll do hers for everything if oh, you want me geez, to. Oh, jeez, no. Um, we were running through the school. Like, I think we were even late and like mum was walking with us. Mm. And she was running and she ran smack into a pole. Ooh, that's yeah, bad. Had a huge egg on her head. It's pretty funny. Oh, Poor bugger, funny. yeah. That's what happened to her head. Sorry sorry. Yeah Everlasting Yep Um, My first Okay My first embarrassing moment That I can remember Was I This is It wasn't I wasn't even that young But this is the one that pops into my head Okay As being the All my cousins Right Because we Dad Some of dad's family They ran a farm So we used to go down there You know Every weekend and yep. I had heaps of cousins on that farm. Okay. We used to play, and they were just rough as guts. They still are rough as guts. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rough buckets. <laughs> yeah, rough buckets. <laughs> oh, hoary Maoris. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so one day, you know, us townie kids went out there with all the farm kids, and we were they were all riding their bikes off the side of this hill. And this hill wasn't like not not just a slope. It was. I've like, been to the farm. Yeah, you know what the hills are yeah, like. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. like they're, they're 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 hills. They're mountains. They go- there's goats on the hills and trees and nothing else. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, they were all riding their bikes straight off the side of the hill, doing mad jumps at the end oh and stuff like that. Gosh. And I'm like, yeah, I can do this. <laughs> and then everyone but me made it to the bottom. Right, I <laughs> my fucking sister and my cousin. I swear. <laughs> I'd, I'd done it, all right? I went flying down the hill because these bikes had no brakes either, so you couldn't slow down. Oh, my goodness. Um, I went flying down the hill, hit a water pipe at the bottom <laughs> and then come straight over the handlebars and, like, scrape my face along the ground. Oh, that's and what happened to your face. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, and because I've got gaps in between my teeth, my cousins, my sister especially, um... And one of my other cousins, who's her age, like he's my older cousin, whatever. Great Cousin, details. cousin, cousin, yeah. Yep. Um, they used to give me, they used to call me, do you want to, have I told you what they used to call me? <laughs> no. They used to call me like Gappus Toothus. Yes. <laughs> 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 Fucking assholes, they, they, just, <laughs> they just hated me for some <laughs> 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 They literally used to call me Gappus Toothus. <laughs> <laughs> but then it evolved into Juckus. Juckus Pluckus. Yeah, Juckus Pluckus. <laughs> yeah. That's what they used to call me. Because I've got giant gaps. If you're watching, I've got... Juckus Pluckus. If you're Get watching, out I've got of here. Giant, giant gaps in between my teeth. So, but what happened when I come off that Just bike... Just so if Kyra and the cousins are still watching, I still call him Juckus Pluckus sometimes. Uh, how funny. You, you actually do. Yeah. Um. So when I come off that bike, I, I, I scrape my face that bad that I had grass in between my teeth <laughs> in between the gap in my front two teeth and they were calling me um they were saying to me like jacques plark has got some grass in his gap as tooth is <laughs> fucking assholes eh? <laughs> oh my goodness yeah, that's yeah, yeah. so funny it just it's just funny how that works out though because oh. now i'm the one with the podcast so <laughs> cockheads the lot of you i swear um, it's amazing It's actually um, Sorry I'm going to sidetrack Before we get into the next one It's amazing that I actually Turned out with any self-confidence Yeah They were just yeah. like Talk about how kids I are I mean savages. you must have been The youngest of the group No Yeah I was the youngest That 
There was no, there's nobody my age in my family. Yeah, and then so like I always had to hang out with the older below kids. Below you's like sixteen. Yeah, year olds and and yeah, stuff. yeah. So I always got picked on constantly. Yeah, but Aww. yeah, but now they're all struggling in life and stuff. Sharks, like that. <laughs> fucking losers. <laughs> Not my sister. She's doing pretty well for herself. But yeah. Okay. Oh so the next one is what is your earliest memory? My earliest memory. So your my first memory. So we'll keep the word first in there. What's your first okay, memory? Okay, my first memory that you can remember. That I can remember. Yep. Um so we used to live in a town called Yumundi on the Gold on the Sunshine Coast. What what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Represent Yumundi. Wow. Yeah. And I can remember like living in Yumundi. Yeah. I think I would have been like three. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty early. Yep. And so like I have like faint memories of like living in the house and like playing in the sunroom, yep. um, going for drives with yep. mum and we there was a turkey farm. Yeah. Like a gobble gobble turkey turkey farm, mm. so we drive around the block and then drive past the turkeys, and Mum would go gobble what gobble. What noise gobble. did they make? Gobble gobble turkeys. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> and then all of them <laughs> would go gobble gobble gobble. Oh, how funny! Yeah, yeah. Um, and like we would go to the rodeos and um the pub and stuff like that, like yeah. small town sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that's right like up your dad's alley, by the way. Yeah, well, Dad had um, yeah the pub. Yeah, yeah. Well, that whole thing, okay. all of it. He's yeah. a socialite, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's the extrovert. Yeah, there, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. So Dad was like the head of the parks and reserves up mm. there. Yep, I'm pretty sure. So that's why we lived in Yumundi. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've heard this, babe. The amount of beers I've had with your dad and heard these stories, <laughs> you're just not telling me anything that I don't already know. Well, that's yeah. just one of my only missed memories. Yeah, yeah, being in Yumundi. Mm. Mm. Okay. You got a better story than me by the sounds of it. Do you have an early memory? Yeah. My, f- oh yeah. What's My first, first memory, memory is when I was a kid. So we spent a lot of time at the beaches, like from like before me and my siblings were even born. Mm-hmm. My, my dad grew up on the water. Mum grew up on the water too. So we grew up at the beach naturally. And um, we used to have this blue Ford Falcon station wagon. And I will insert a picture of it because I do have a picture of me sitting on top of it with a um, dozen bears in a nappy. <laughs> yeah. And it was this big monster of a thing. My earliest memory was um, when when I was a baby, I wouldn't have been... I know this story. I wouldn't have been two. But okay. I remember being... They used to just... My mum just left me in the car seat and then like sat around the car with their mates, whatever. Yeah. Um, probably on the bears. And probably. This red nosed pit bull oh. jumped in the car with me. <gasps> yeah. Like a and there was a time where pit bulls were dangerous dogs. Yeah. Like people like they still are. They mm. still can be, but every pit bull was a dangerous dog back yeah. then. Yeah. And it was just sniffing around me. And I remember I can remember being strapped into the car seat and looking at my arms and legs. And then this this dog jumped in the car with me and I didn't even think anything of it. Until, right, mum yeah. told me about that story like like a few years ago, I think, when she lived here. Yeah. And I said, I actually remember that. I, wow. I, I, I've, I've remembered that my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. I can literally remember my little legs and like oh. looking at the water and stuff like wow. that. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. That's so little. Like yeah, yeah. two years old. Wow. Yeah. Not no, not even that. Like smaller. I, was, I don't think I was old enough to walk. Otherwise, I would have been outside the like car. Like you were strapped. Yeah, yeah, you were strapped in. They like left me college. in the car because it was probably hot outside. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And I, I remember like, I remember that dog and I don't remember being scared of it at yeah. all. Yeah. And then it just, mum scared it out of the car. Oh. Yeah. Do you want a drink? No, I'm right. Oh, well, okay. I just thought you were my voice getting croaky? Parched, yeah. Okay, I'll have a drink. Um, yeah. And that's my earliest memory. So, of course, we're not going to jump on a podcast, talk about first times and not talk about, you know, the first time getting drunk, the first time losing your V-plates, having your first kiss. We'll start at kiss, actually. Oh, yeah. What was your first kiss, babe? Well, my first, like, pash. Yeah, like your first kiss, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was, um, a little bit later than some. (laughs) 
uh, wasn't like 11 years old, yeah. which I'm guessing that that's how old you were. It's just a rough guess. Um, I was 19 probably in a club. Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> um, obviously still. Wait, if you were 19 and we're seven, I actually had my first kiss before you had yours. Yes. Like not in terms of our no, age. No, but as in like the timeline. Yeah. Like yeah. That on the day that we had it in the same timeline. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. It's the same with our virginity as well. Yeah, well, we'll get to that. Keep going. Um, yeah, so I was 19 and I was in a club called the Calibre Lounge. It's next to where we met. Actually, right outside. Do you know Retros? The one across the road. Next to... Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not across. But yeah, the one like, right next to it, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we were... I met this dude. I can't you even remember his name. You wouldn't have even been name. drunk. I wasn't drunk. I drove home. Oh, did you really? Yeah. You used to go to the valley and not even touch alcohol? Yeah, Sarah and I used to just go in there to have a dance. Really? Yeah. How funny. Yep. But so, the, do you remember the guy? Do you know him? No, I don't know him. You just necked on with somebody? Yeah. Like, oh, and I can't imagine what that's like being 19 and then going through that, the whole emotions of, oh my God, I just had my first kiss. Yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine that. It was pretty crazy because my sister was there too, um. I don't think that was her first kiss because she... Did he kiss you, her as well? No. Oh, okay. I'm saying he was with a dude. And, and they... We, we, yeah, she was dancing with his yeah. mate. I'm pretty sure they both had the same name. Like, they were both called Josh. Oh, that's just what like they this. said. They were going to... Bro, our name's Josh tonight, eh? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, and then, yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure she was, like, necking on with his mate and then I yeah. was necking on with this dude. And really? we were just, like, dancing to, like, s- yeah, like, 90s yeah. music all night. How like, funny. Yeah. Because it was, like, you know, nostalgia music yeah. back then. How funny. Yeah, but I was 19. And then um, he asked us to drop us home and I never heard from him again. And then thus starts my problem with men. Oh, uh, and you just keep going downhill from there, eh? I did. Okay, yep. Until, until you. Oh, okay. Oh, cute. <laughs> 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 yep, so that's probably my first kiss. Yep. I mean, I had a little peck when I was 10. Yeah. But yep. I didn't then kiss another boy at all until I was 19. That sucks. It did suck. Yeah. I thought I was ugly. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, that's just being a late bloomer. Yeah. Yeah. I probably was ugly. <laughs> yeah. I probably still was ugly at Sorry, the time. Sorry, I didn't mean to agree with you just then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to ask Rough. me when my first kiss was. Okay, tell me about your first kiss. Yeah, so mine was in year seven. Year seven? Yeah. Grade seven. Which is how old? Well, here Ten. it's 12. Nah, grade. Yeah, yeah it was year seven. So, yeah. That is so it's not young. 12. What, what age do we go to high school? You? Like, what age? Well, here, when I grade was a eight, kid, it was nine. grade 8. But now it's year 7. Yeah, so I think I would have been like 11 or 12. And um, I I think, I don't know if this chick was my first girlfriend. But she was in a grade 8. Yeah, year, year 8. We call so, it she year was eight older than you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like a pattern has emerged. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but my my first kiss was like some hood rat shit. Oh it wasn't like in a club. It was so I like we were holding hands and stuff for oh. ages. Oh yeah, boyfriend girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. and like pecking, but not oh. pashing. And then, <laughs> like the day that we pashed, mm. right? She like because she was real like nervous to do it. She even got drunk. I'm not Shut even kidding. Up. Oh my goodness. I passed Grade her and eight. she had alcohol on her breath. <gasps> which is crazy, right? She and then like That is some hood rat shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I grew yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even <laughs> like though I'm, I'm even from though the hood. even though I'm not a hood rat, I, I grew up being a hood rat. Yeah. Yeah, like I just somehow got away from it. Yeah. I just dodged it. <laughs> yeah. You're going back home, Mum? Okay. <laughs> See you there. Yeah, I know, right? Um and it was in a park because we always used to go to the same park 
like a group of us that yeah. had the boyfriends and the girlfriends. Oh, right? uh, yeah. Yeah, and we just all used to just chill out after school. Or okay. we used to go to my house because my parents were like, you know, the only ones that um, were... Were the cool parents? Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, we'd just hang out. And then that was literally my first kiss. So it was in a park. Yeah, in a park. With a drunk... Girl. She wasn't pissed. She wasn't pissed. She just needed a bit of Dutch courage. That's right. Yeah. At okay. twelve years old. At twelve years old. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah. That see, that's what I mean. Is I remember what everyone remembers what their first kiss feels like. Yeah. When you like, because you want to do it so badly until yeah. you do it, yeah. and like that that big. It's like when I imagine the feeling of it now, I, could, I I'm literally picturing fireworks in my head. Oh, not not because of that girl. No, but the feeling the of feeling oh my god, I'm kissing it's somebody. It's like an ecstatic yeah, feeling. Yeah, yeah, my brain just pictures wow. literal fireworks. I'm um, so jealous that you can do that. I yeah, Claire literally has no imagination. Don't have an imagination. Like she can't. She mentally cannot picture anything. Can't in her conjure head. anything up other than the lights of what I'm seeing when yeah, I shut my eyes. That's right. Um, and to go through that at 19 <laughs> in a club. Oh. I didn't get fireworks when I shut my eyes. But yeah, it was it was nice cuz um like I felt like yeah, yeah, there was other pretty girls in the room, but I felt like yeah. Yeah, pretty, you felt pretty. Pretty. All right, V plates. Straight into it. Go. Oh my goodness. Do you really want me to go first? I'll go first if you want. Okay, you go first. But what if my story is better than yours and yours just doesn't Okay, I'll tell my story first. Mine's I don't. I actually. I, should, I don't think I should tell mine. Just change the names. No, I'm not name. It's underage sex. Yeah, but if you're both underage, it's not really illegal. I mean, but it's still not right. <laughs> okay, you go. <laughs> okay, go. well, I wasn't underage. Yeah. <laughs> Going from my first story, I was not even nineteen. Yeah. Um, pretty sure I was like twenty three. It was you were twenty five. I was not twenty five. Don't downplay. That. I was twenty three. Were you? Yep. Yeah. Um, and once again, if you're a family member of mine, please click away. You don't want to know the details. Yep. Um, I was at a bar and there was a famous like A-lister in town doing a massive concert yep. at Boondle. Yep. And her band was doing a gig somewhere <laughs> and we went there to meet – well, not to meet them. We went there to watch it and one of the band members hit on me. Yeah. At a bar? At a bar. Yeah. And then we like linked up later in the week and yeah, we we went back Bum to Douglas. his hotel. I lost my virginity to a... Drummer. Drummer. Of, of a really big pop star. Yep. But we don't... In a five that. star hotel. So, so that's, it's that's not the worst good. story ever. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. It is pretty good. Mine was horrible. You weren't in a five star hotel? <laughs> no. Oh, what a I was in a. I was in a. I think I was in a government house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that girl's mum. I'm pretty sure that girl's mum lived in government assisted housing. Oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's so funny. I think it was in a government house. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, yeah. Was it your girlfriend at the time? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. And we were like dating for ages. Not yeah. dating, just like texting is dating when you're a teenager. Sure. Well, never when you're a hood rat that. teenager. And yeah, it was at her house. There was nothing. It was horrible. It really was. Like to me at the time it wasn't. Yeah. I was the man at the time because okay. I was the first one out of all my mates to. So I'm the one that they're asking like. And how old were you? I was in high school. Yeah. Um, I was in grade 10. Oh, yeah. So I was what, 13? No, nah, it wasn't grade 10. It was grade 9. Grade nine? But it wasn't that good. I was like 14. Yep. Um, and your mates no, were no, like, I wasn't th- I was what 12 do you or 13. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they were like, I was I was the man. Jesus. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't I don't really want to talk about it all that much because I don't want to glorify underage sex. It's horrible. Yeah. But I'm not saying, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, good story. If you do it safely, do it, Mine's but better. otherwise don't do it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wait until you're 24 and then you have sex for the first yeah, time. Yeah, that's right. Um, in a hotel. Drunk, babe. 
When's the well, first time you got drunk? I was in my twenties, guys. What a <laughs> surprise! Nerd, nerd, <laughs> nerd alert. <laughs> it was like after work on a Friday and we had the corporate card and we just went to Jade Buddha in the city and got smashed on cocktails. Was that when you were working at Red Rooster? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was working flipping for a chickens? recruitment agency. Okay, yeah, sorry. Good one, flipping chickens. Yeah. Yeah, that's my story. If that's it. Yeah, but yeah. like how did you turn out? Were you blacked out drunk? I, I had to be put in a cab, yeah. And did anyone take you home? No one like took me home, but they put me in a cab and sent me home. Yeah, okay. And then you spewed and stuff? <laughs> Probably. I can't remember. You can't remember, literally. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then what? And then I got drunk every Friday after that. How old were you? <laughs> 20. 20. Probably. Yeah, okay. 19 or but 20. But by then you had been working for three or four years. Yeah. Like you, yeah, you're a, you're a full-blown adult. Yeah, yeah. well... Well, not really. You I'm still even... a teenage bride. Like, yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah, true. Mm. How about you? I love this story. Mine I've heard it before. Hectic, yeah. It's pretty funny. Again, I was in high Once school. Once again. Yeah. We have a we have a theme here. Yeah, I grew up I grew up faster, right? Um, <laughs> that's why we're together. Yeah, that's right. Jacques really thirty eight. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. yeah. So my my first time getting drunk again, I was underaged, but. <laughs> I was at a mate's house with another mate and the mate whose house it was. Um, and they're like, you should get some beers. So we only got some Woodstocks, which are bourbon and cola. Pretty sure they were 8%. 8%? They were over five anyway. They were full-blown bourbons. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the first time you got drunk was when you were like eight and you were accidentally drinking beer from a... Oh, but I wasn't... I didn't get drunk though. Oh, okay. That was, that was when I was like six and <laughs> um, my one of my uncles called my mum and dad after they had picked me up from his house and gone and like asked if I was okay. And they were like, yeah, why? And then he, and then he had to tell them, oh, he was drinking beer out of the jug in the fridge. But we didn't know that. He was drinking it because he was obviously thirsty and he was just drinking it without asking anybody. <laughs> you thought it was cordial. Yeah. And I just, and I just thought, I thought it was fizzy. It was in a, <laughs> like a, it was in a jug that, like, an, like it wasn't from the, transparent. From the tub. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It was a, actually somebody had poured their beers into a jug and put it in the fridge. Maybe it was like homebrew or something. Must have been. Yeah. But I wasn't drunk or anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was just the first time you'd had something to drink. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh no. No, I probably had a beer on Dad's da- Dad's lap or something when I was younger. <laughs> they probably yeah, that's how, that's how yeah, that's how we grew up. Okay. Yeah, um, that's why we're all the way we are now. We're all <laughs> pissheads and we all smoke packs of cigarettes every day and whatever. Not you anymore, babe. Yeah, exactly. Um, but the first time I actually got drunk was with two of my mates. We went and got some drinks and we were just drinking, 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 and then all of a sudden we're doing shots. For no reason, like, oh, my God, for oh no... Oh, my God. Just a dumb dog shit decision. <laughs> um, and I ended up in my mate's bathroom. I locked myself in and I was, like, crying. <laughs> 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 and his mum, his mum was there. That's why we were, she let us drink. Oh. Auntie, shout out to auntie. <laughs> shout out auntie. Yeah. Um, and, like... They had to get me to unlock the door and then put me to bed. And I woke up the next day and they were both like, oh, bro, you're so wasted. Oh, my God. Well, that was the first time I got drunk. And I had a I had a hangover. But you know what's crazy? It's like an hour later, my hangover was gone. Jealous. <laughs> but I, I recovered. But that was like, yeah, so those funny. first few times I got drunk were pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, it slowly went away. What? The feeling of... Oh, bit fun? Yeah. No, I love drinking. My my drinking now for me, yeah. now I just like sip when I'm at home, basically the whole time I'm home. Yeah. That's fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's like my new drinking. It's fun. It's like so being funny. half cut playing with the kids. <laughs> 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 Again, I'm not a pisshead. I, I just enjoy my drinks, all right? That's so but funny. I'm but like I've I've basically been drinking since ten o'clock this morning. Dark. I mean and I'm and I'm like look look at me, I'm 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 straighter than you are. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's what. Sorry, I'm, I don't want to paint myself as a piss here, guys. I really don't. We'll cut, we'll cut all of but the honestly, of the alcohol out of this episode. But honestly, try and go drink for drink for, 
with me you can't <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll challenge you yeah i'll you go till the sun lose. comes up i promise yeah well oh, we can skip that one yeah i don't want to i don't want to do that one because again it's just underage yeah drug abuse <laughs> and i've never done drugs yeah. so that would but be shit what about the first time driving well, the first time I've ever driven a car um, was like down the back of Banya mm. and uh, I nearly hit a dog. <laughs> yeah, of course you did. <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. I was like turning the um, turning the corner. Yeah. Um, I actually, I nearly hit a car and a dog. Who was with you? Uh, Dad. Wow, you would have been Because mum was himself. like this. My mum was like, oh yeah. yeah, I'll take you for a drive. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> That sounds, you know, it's crazy. That sounds like your sister. Oh, <laughs> she drives just like my mum. So <laughs> perfect. That's so funny. Perfect pair, those two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, like, driving towards Bunya from Linkwood, yeah. I like nearly scraped a car on the way out. How old were you? You I can say, you're not going to get anyone in trouble. I was 18. Oh, my God. You were 18. I was 18. Oh, you know, the first time I got behind the wheel of a car was when I was like five. I believe That's you. That's insane. Yeah, yeah okay. I was 18. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Just like every other story that I've got, I was a late bloomer. And I was early. Way early. I was out the gate. Mm. What else? Well, like, we drove towards Bunya and mm. we were like driving around the area that you taught me to drive manual. Yeah. And um, like, you know, you go down Blue Hill Drive and there's like a road to the right. Yep, yep, yep. We went to turn there from... The going up the hill mm. So I'm turning left yep. Into that street yep. And there was a dog Running across the road Did you hit it? I nearly hit the dog Was it someone with the dog? No No, no one was with the dog oh, I nearly caught a dog <laughs> You almost <laughs> caught a body <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The first time You drove a car oh, oh, What kind of car was it? It was a Falcon Oh, yeah. Um, like station wagon. Yeah, this is huge. Yeah, the bonnet's like here to the yeah, they're like kitchen truck away. Yeah, it's exactly. like huge. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like this tiny little innocent lady, oh, <laughs> little petite <laughs> girl. Oh, such a little girl, <laughs> such a little girl. Yeah, how funny <laughs> driving this massive car, like trying to see the corners and stuff. Yeah, no. yeah. All right. Anyway, tell us the first time you drove. Oh, like we. The first time I remember staring the car on Dad's lap, I, I wouldn't have even been five. Well, I did the same thing. Yeah, okay. So the first time I actually drove on the road. Yeah. That was that's a pretty funny story. It's pretty funny. I was like again I think I was like ten. Eleven. Okay. Yeah, one of those. And I already knew how to drive a manual. I reverse trailers, box trailer like 'cause dad dad's yeah. dad. My wild boy is like throw you in the deep end and yep. you have no choice but swim. Yeah. Because he's not going to save you. <laughs> that's that <laughs> like that's his whole – that was his whole parenting ethos. Yeah. Was, yeah, I'm giving you something to do, learn how to do it, whatever. Yeah, you'll learn. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and so I knew how to – like, and, and we grew up with like monstrous old land cruisers. Like, um, but the first time I actually drove on the road – I was 10 or 11 and dad was pissed and we were at one of his mate's house <laughs> and then mum called and mm. like told him go home. I don't think he went there to get pissed. I just think he went there and got pissed because the boys <laughs> pulled out the beds. Ah, oh, yeah, fucking get on piss. Whatever. Give so he's one. pissed. And then, and like now thinking about it, it was like 10 minutes from our house because New Zealand is a very small place. Yeah. You go from city to city in 10 minutes. Yeah. Like, um, and you could probably imagine the roads yeah, that you drove as well. We had this big old, well, um, a big old 60 series Land Cruiser. One of the big ones too. Not one of the, yeah, like a big one. Um, and <laughs> manual. And he goes, Jeez. oh, your mum called me, we have to go home. I was like, you're right to drive? He goes, no, you're going to drive. I was like, oh, fuck, here we go. <laughs> Nervous as <clears throat> wheeling this Land Cruiser through the streets. <gasps> Oh but I already knew how to drive. I knew how to stop the car, take off. I knew how to do roundabouts. Like, it w it's not that hard. And then, so we got to, like, the end of Wall Road. We're <laughs> back home, you'll know what I'm talking about. And you go left and go right down whatever to get to the big roundabout at Flaxmere. Oh, yeah. um, <clears throat> so we got to the end of Wall Road. And if you go right, you go straight through the middle of town. If you go left, it's like the back road to go home. 
And I'm like, which way do you want me to go? <laughs> this fucking asshole. <laughs> My old man goes, go right. And I was like, through town. He's like, yeah, yeah, you'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of just going the fast way home to, to and then like avoiding the cops and <laughs> Because obviously an 11-year-old is yeah, yeah. not Avo- like a 16-year-old. Avoiding the cops and like bouncing down the like through orchards to get home, right? Oh. And this arsehole goes, nah, you're right, go, go to the right. For no reason. He didn't want to stop anywhere or anything. He just wanted me to drive through town. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and he's probably half cut, so he's like having fun going through town with his son <laughs> driving. And yeah, that was the first time I drove home. I drove all the way home. Oh, my gosh. And that was the start of your um, sober driving Escapades. Yeah, basically, yeah. That just continued until... But those are stories for other days too. Because <laughs> when totally. I say my teen years were crazy. Literally. And like in just the context of driving car, like fast cars and what... Yep. It was just, yeah. I was reckless when I was a teenager. Yeah. Well, I think that's the end of our podcast, babe. I think it is. I think we've done that one pretty well too. I hope so. I hope you enjoyed tonight's... Yeah. Escapades. If you um, have a story that tops ours, can you leave it in the comments? Yeah, literally. I want to read it. Because I, I know that, like, Claire's not the only late bloomer and I'm not <laughs> the only early bloomer. <laughs> early bloomer. Like, I know that half you blokes watching this that drive trucks were just as bad as me when you were teenagers. So yep. let's hear about them, man. And if anyone um, can, yeah, share some, some stories with me that yeah. makes me feel a little bit better about being 25 and. <laughs> Sucking someone off. Oh. <laughs> Please don't put that in. That's okay, very mean. Yeah. All right. Episode three, done, dusted. Yep. Um, Have a good week, guys. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Shout out to Luna Finance for, you know, Pulling stocking us, us up with hard solos. <laughs> Legends. All right. Legends. High five. See you guys soon. Bye.